name is Vanessa. If you don't know who I am, a chance call for those that struggle. So I just wanted to jump on here and just get into the post that I had posted last night. So yes, I wanted to share that my daughter um, that is 15 years old um, was truly saved last night at church. Okay, so I had talked to you recently um, on how God told me to go to church and be supportive and go with somebody and that deliverance would come okay that was a week ago that was last sunday and as of last night she had went to church on her own behalf um, that morning and last night and she was saved she knows for a fact that she is saved she knows that god loves her unconditionally and she knows that she can pray and that he hears her prior to this there was a lot of just fear and being scared and she spent a lot of time repenting and asking him into her heart over several years and last night she was delivered she was set free and she is saved so i just wanted to share this with you this is such a blessing i have been ecstatic um, overly joyed just so thankful just praising and worshiping god thanking him for saving her and for his word to come to pass and that you know he said deliverance was coming and deliverance did um when god speaks a word he will it will come to pass shortly after he speaks the word he can show you things to come for your future but when he speaks a word like this when he gives you instructions when he's telling you to do something and you do it and you are faithful and obedient it's going to come to pass stand on his word do not be double-minded do not doubt um and i also want to say that you know yes when two or more come together in agreement it shall be done Secondly, is like, yes, when we are obedient, God wants to do something for us. When he has instructions for us, then he wants to do something for us. He has something great for us. Number three, you know, I made sure that she knew that it was her heart and her willingness. Um, so it wasn't just me and my prayers, but it was her. She had to have a willing heart. She was the one that went to church. She was the one that repented. She was the one that asked him to come into her heart and to save her. Okay. You have to have a willing heart. And so I just wanted to make sure like people know that you have to have a willing heart. You have to go before God. You have to keep trying until you find him. You know, don't give up. Hold on to him. Hold on to his promises. Also, I want to say, you know, recently I shared, you know, um, the unexpected happened as far as, you know, uh, car issues. And so my vehicle is home and I do not have a lockout anymore on my vehicle. And it does not have to go several towns away. Um, it doesn't have to be towed to, to get fixed, to get unlocked. I do not have a... Um, they had originally given me a, you know, $75 fee and they waived that fee. And so God has brought provision in this area. Okay. The, the month of March is expect the unexpected, expect God's miracles, expect God's favor, expect God's provision. Okay. I love you all. God bless you. I pray this is a blessing for you. I thank you all. I thank you all in Jesus' holy name. I'll talk to you later.